Tantor here with a recap of Atlanta United's nil-nil draw with Cincinnati FC. Hey, we were playing the worst team in MLS for the past three years every year, and we couldn't score. And that's been the story of our season. We completely 100% outplayed Cincinnati, made them look dumb, just basically controlled the game. But what can you do? When you can't score, you can't score. So with all of our injuries, Cisneros got to start at striker. He looked good. Wiley got to start at left wing. He looked pretty good too. Matter of fact, everyone that played in our starting lineup looked pretty good. They did a good job because they're playing against Cincinnati. So we took the fight to Cincinnati, played on our front foot, had a crap load of shots, couldn't get anything past Khan, who is our ex-keeper. Um, I'm kind of biased with Khan. Uh, Met him a couple times personally at camps and that sort of stuff. He was always great, always accommodating. So I'm kind of happy that he got a clean sheet, but I hate it that he uh, got a tie against us and kept us from getting our three points. One good, couple good things. Arahu and Heinemann both came back from injuries and subbed in late in the second half and both looked like they can play. So that's good. It's good to have them back, but it didn't get us a goal. Get right to the stats. Remember, they're my stats. We led in possession with 63%. I had us taking 22 shots. Yes, 22 shots. We just shot all the time on them, on Con. so he had plenty of work. Uh, we had nine corners, which is crazy. Three yellow cards. Campbell, Sajic, and Amata all had yellow cards. The turning point in this game, in my opinion, was the, the PK that Moreno missed. Um... Although, I'll give Khan the save. Khan had the save. Guessed right. Dove, but Moreno didn't put enough pace on it to get it by him. He was just passing into a corner, which is not a bad idea. But Khan is a good enough keeper that he made the save. And that saved the game. That was the big play there. Khan ended up with six saves for Cincinnati. We had another injury. Brad Guzan. He goes down with an injury. Uh, I had to wait a little bit to check to see what they're saying the injury is, and they said he tore his Achilles. So Brad Guzan is done for the year. I'm not going to gloat. I'm not a Brad Guzan fan, but I don't wish that on anybody. I don't wish that he could possibly end his career with a torn Achilles. So I do wish that he you know, fully recovered. I, I think that the wrong keeper left the club. I think Khan should have stayed and Guzan left, but I don't want to see Guzan go down like this. And it, that's just a shame. It was a non-contact injury. He was just out there coming out of his box to make a uh, play on a pass back, and boom, he goes down. And you could tell that it was something really, really serious. Look, this is just frustrating. We played on our front foot. We had opportunities. It didn't work out. We could not finish. Something's not working up top. It's just not working. We should have scored seven, eight goals in this game. Easy. Gutman missed a couple opportunities right there. All he had to do is get his foot on the ball. He couldn't do it. Almada was missing. It, it, it Very frustrating. It's just frustrating watching us miss shots. It's almost like we're playing with pup goals and the other team's got regulation size. We can't make one. Uh, we're jinxed. So we've got to learn how to score. We have a midweek game that's a cup game that doesn't count in MLS. And then we go to Miami. Uh, next Sunday, so we better score. We're not, and we play another bottom feeder team next weekend. But if we're not scoring, we're not beating anyone. So when we start playing the better teams like Union and uh, FC and Red Bull and Toronto, we're in trouble. We are absolutely in trouble. And when we have to go out west, we're going to get pounded because those teams are putting some goals up. So we got to learn what to do and how to finish. And that's what we should be concentrating on with Pineda. Finish, finish, finish. See you next Sunday.